Hi, this is Cynthia Flanagan from Main Street Financial Planning, and I have a money tip for you. And we get a lot of questions asking, how much can you actually afford when buying a new house? So usually when we're thinking about how much of a house you can afford, we're actually thinking about how much of a mortgage you can easily pay. So determining this starts with your budget, or as we call it, a spending plan. Here you're tracking your income and expenses, but paying close attention to how much in discretionary dollars you have left over every month to save for a down payment or afford paying the extra monthly expenses for a new home. The way I like to think about this is that you're practicing for paying for a mortgage. And here's how it works. First, you calculate how much you're paying now for housing and then what your estimate is for the new home. If you're renting currently, the total amount you're paying already toward housing includes your rent and renter's insurance. So you've got that amount. When you're looking at a house you want to purchase, use one of the mortgage calculators to determine how much of the mortgage amount uh, would be. And oftentimes the site would also include an estimate for insurance and property taxes. Include an HOA if you're buying a condo, a TIC, or a townhouse, and add to this amount an estimate for home maintenance. A good rule of thumb is 1% of the home value. Use these figures to come up with a monthly amount, then subtract out what you're already paying for rent and renter's insurance, and then this is the added amount you'll need to be able to pay in order to afford your new home easily. Take that difference, that amount that you need to pay, and save it every month without fail in your high yield savings account or in a brokerage account if you, the timeline to purchase the house is farther away. If you're able to comfortably save this, this added amount, then you'll be able to afford a house of that value. In the meantime, the funds that you're setting aside can also be added to your down payment, increasing the down payment amount. If you're not able to easily af afford that uh, additional monthly payment, then you may not want to get a house that large and instead do this practice scenario with a less, less expensive house. Remember that larger homes may involve more costs for maintenance and that emergency funds should not be rated for the down payment. You might need to use that someday. So I hope this helps getting you into a new house and figuring out how much house you can actually afford. Take care.